So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, your host for Photography PX. In today's video, I'm going to show you one simple way how to change the color of backdrops in Affinity Photo. All right, so here we are. Uh, let's move over to Affinity Photo. So photos loaded up. I am editing this photo on the iPad Pro 2018, 10.5 inch. Uh, photos already loaded up. And uh, I'm going to just show you guys the before and after of what we're going to be doing here. So we're going to go from that red to the green, red to green, red to green. One simple step should take us a, roughly about two minutes. Incredibly easy to do. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this. I've actually recorded another video that's on our channel on how to do this. Uh, you can check out that technique as well, and you can kind of pick and choose. Uh, there's a multitude of other ways to do this, and I'll, I'll probably end up showcasing a couple more ways to do this as well. So you guys have a little bit more flexibility in what terms, in terms of what technique actually works for your workflow. You guys may not like doing it this way. Uh, I'm just showing you another option so that you have a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more choices. So uh, let's uh, delete this layer and we'll kind of get started. So first things first, after loading up your photo, we're going to head over here into the Selections Persona. We're going to be using the Smart Selections brush. Uh, make sure it's set to Add and we'll leave the width at maybe 125. Uh, width doesn't really matter that much, we can kind of play around with that. Uh, I will do a future video on showing you guys how to uh, master selections so you get perfect selections in Affinity Photo. That is a little bit complicated though, so we're gonna just kind of do it the easy way and just do the lazy man's way here and uh, save us some time. Uh, if it, suffice it to say, if you don't want it to select an area of the backdrop, um, say it's selecting the foreground, you can just set this over here to subtract, uh, set the mode. Uh, you can just change that. Okay, so we got a decent selection there. What we're going to do now, we're going to go back over to our layers panel, hit plus, and we're going to go to fill layer. Uh, what we're going to do by default, it's going to be set to a solid layer, uh, which is perfectly fine. And it's just going to be a fill of a flood of color. So what we're going to do over here is go into our color window, make sure that this is set to HSL uh, so that we can easily pick our color. And we're going to do actually, um, we're going to do like a, like an orangey color that sort of matches the flowers. Uh, let's do like a saturation around here. Okay. So once you've picked your color, that was the first step, go over here into our layer options and we're going to change the blend mode to color. And that is it. And then now all you have to do is adjust your opacity to basically get the amount of color that you want. And then if you want to change the color, say you want more saturation or less saturation, just go over into your color window and then you can just change the luminosity of it. Um, that's not the color I actually was hoping for. I was hoping for kind of a yellowish, not quite there, but yeah, somewhere around, yeah, somewhere around there. Uh, let me actually deselect this as well since we don't need that anymore. So let's deselect that and go back to our photos panel. And then what I'm actually gonna do is use the color picker and we're gonna get like a yellow of that flower and we're gonna use that color there. So yes, that's that color. And luminosity a little bit. Yeah, somewhere around there. Okay, boom, there we are. Simple as that. Now this tutorial was just showing you guys how to change the color. Uh, this photo specifically has a bunch of other issues with the backdrop in terms of like Okay, the color is kind of weird over here. It's a lot brighter um, on that. On the opposite side, it's a little bit darker. Uh, so it has a has a multitude of other issues. Um, my iPad kind of froze up a little bit here, but that's fine. But um, yeah, I mean, this like I said. So over here is a little bit brighter. Over here is a little bit darker. I have a video specifically on how to fix that, how to even that out. So after you do this color technique, you can actually fix the backdrop and get it to a working state. Uh, where it looks totally natural and no one will know that you've ever changed the color. Um, but that is the easiest way to change colors. Um, so I hope that video was helpful for you guys. I hope this added some value um, and another technique to add to your repertoire. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please hit us up with a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down in the description below if I miss anything or if, there, if you have any questions um, that I, I, I'd love to answer those questions. Um, and as always, my friends, stay locked into Photography PX. I'm your host, Devon Lennox, and we'll catch you next time. Peace out. Walking.